Ayana Poe mm -hmm. is our next guest, uh, who is over there on 8th Street. All right, cooking and, and doing stuff. Dr. Dr. Sherman talked about uh, what's happening with our food and sort of this um, uh, upcycle. And uh, you're, you're doing it, you're growing it and recycling and upcycling. T tell, us, tell us about um, Cultivate the City, Ayana. Yeah, so 8th Street Farms is part of Cultivate the City. It's just a, a specific location, which is our retail space. But okay. our main mission is to provide tools, education, and resources for people to learn sustainable agriculture. Um, we mostly, we sell plants, but we also mainly teach classes and workshops to teach kind of creative methods and sustainable methods on how you can grow, use it, uh, use the food that you grow. Um, you know, we also support, our main thing is probably education. Wonderful. And so what, what's, what's the popular, uh, vegetable, uh, what, what are people growing and what, what is, what's the season right now? So we're starting, well, the weather is not agreeing with me. Right. <laughs> we're supposed to start getting into things like peas, probably, probably like in another two weeks, we can start putting things outside like tomatoes, cucumbers, um, any of those seasonal veggies that um, most people typically like. I mean, but herb season is any season. So if you want to grow something easy to start with, definitely herbs. Herbs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've killed all mine. So I'm going to try them again uh, because uh, it's great cooking with fresh herbs. It really is. And, you know, uh, they make great gifts. I just mm -hmm. thought about that, you know, someone brought, dropped by some, um, I think some tarragon yesterday, which I thought was pretty cool. So, um, but when you, you talk about cooking with these herbs as well, or planning or, or, um, uh, when your classes, I mean, when do you, when do you offer your classes and, and how often, I know you can't do it right now because of COVID, but are you doing it virtually? So we're actually doing classes. Um, we okay. do social classes and we've cut them, how many people can come, but we have classes Good. just every weekend and we teach the basic classes every month. Um, but we also offer volunteering that, you know, if you gave us maybe like three weekends in a row of your time, you're going to learn the same information. Um, we definitely, definitely love getting help from the community. Wonderful. Um, and and how, how do you support community gardens? Because what's one of the things that I think has been especially great to see around the city are, are these um, little spots where there are gardens um, that, that neighbors have come together or an individual uh, mm -hmm. is uh, maintaining. Talk about the, uh, the community garden or H Street's farms. Gotcha. So we, we do have a couple spots that we grow at at community farms. Um, we do also support a lot of the local people in the area, like we're a hub spot where people can come and get their starter plants. Um, and we definitely supply that. Um, but we also provide, um, as I was saying, the basics of it. We teach workshops and classes or um, even just information sessions. We're always open to do consultations and just help people get started in general um, so they can get their footing in and then take that step by themselves and hopefully trickle it down to other people too. Where are you located on 8th Street? So we're on Bladensburg Road, just off of 8th Street. Okay. All right. Um, we're on top of W.S. Jenks and Sons, which is the oldest family-owned hardware store in D.C. Um, and the address there? Is 910 Bladenburg Road. Wonderful. And what are your hours? So we're open every day of the week. Um, every day, actually. <laughs> we're open on the weekdays from 9 to 6. I mean, 12 to 6. And then Saturday is 9 to 6. Sunday is 9 to 5. Wonderful. So I could come in there uh, this weekend, buy some tomato plants, and you will tell me if I follow these steps, mm -hmm. they should grow <laughs> and not die. <laughs> uh, the most frequent question I get is, I want to plant my garden, but I need you to do it for me. <laughs> uh, well, I won't ask you that. <laughs> um, but I can help you every step of the way. Wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, how long have you all been there? So our company is about six years old. Um, okay. We've been at this 8th Street location for about four or five. 
four and a half, five. Okay. And, um, you know, just out of curiosity, how did you get interested and engaged in, in you know, gardening and, and all of this? I mean, what, what motivated you to become a part of um, the farms and cultivate DC? Yeah, so I come from a family of horticulturalists, but I would say I mainly got my interest when I started working here. I started interning at first. Uh, he does a lot of internships with high schools in the area. And so I was kind of referred by a friend here. Um, and to be honest, he was, he said, I don't care about how much you know, I care about how much you learn. And that was the first mm. time he said that to me. And so I've worked my way up from the bottom. Um, and I would just say like his passion for it, the boss, the boss, <laughs> Naradre, the owner, he's super passionate and it's infectious. And, you know, with farming and even gardening, there's always something new to learn um, and what's effective and what's not. So it's always exciting. Well, that's great. I um, am happy for you. Congratulations. You. And glad you're there to help people like myself and others who know that, uh, you know, a lot of the food that we eat, we can grow in containers mm -hmm. or in our in our own yards. And mm -hmm. so uh, all of those uh, tips, I guess, we can get from you or your colleagues when we come uh, come to 8th Street Farms. Is that correct? Exactly. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I wanna thank you so much for being with us today. Hopefully folks will be coming in and uh, looking for you and getting some tips. And I appreciate your time. And uh, we've into the growing season. So we, we should start now. And um, do we have all summer or what's, what's the best time to, to get going now that the weather looks like it's gonna turn sometime next week? I'm not quite sure about the weather. It keeps fluctuating, but I would say probably in like another tip, you could start planting things now. Mm -hmm. Like I said, herb season is any season. Um, so if you want to start with those things, but there's other seasonal things, I would say flowers, um, veggies specifically, you can start doing probably next week. Um, Wonderful. I did just want to say one thing. Sure. Um, we have a seed and plant swap May 16th where anyone, it's, it's a free event. Um, we have different sections that people can sign up for. Um, it's basically, you can come out, you can meet people in the plant community in DC. You can talk to them, you can trade with them. Um, you can walk away with some plants to start of your own. Um, it's just a great event, especially if you want to meet other people in the area in a safe space. Wonderful. It sounds like an exciting uh, event. When is it again? May the... May 16th. May 16th. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Great. Well, Ayana, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. Good luck. <laughs>